गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस आवर फर्स्ट यूनिट प्लानिंग इन स्पोर्ट्स टुडे फिजिकल एजुकेशन प्ले एन इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन मॉडर्न एजुकेशन सिस्टम इट एम्फेसाइज ऑन ऑल राउंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल कीपिंग इन व्यू द वेरियस एक्सपेक्ट ऑफ पर्सनैलिटी लाइक फिजिकल फिटनेस सोशल एडजस्टमेंट मेंटल एक्टिवनेस इमोशनली बैलेंस्ड लाइफ कल्चरल वैल्यू एक्सेट्रा मीन्स इन टुडे फिजिकल एजुकेशन हेल्प इन ऑल राउंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल दैट इज इट्स हेल्प टू डेवलप द इंडिविजुअल फिजिकली मेंटली सोशली इमोशनली फिट मीन्स कंप्लीट डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अ पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल therefore modern physical education systems include variety of activity in its program thus physical education program needs good planning for organizations of its activity okay meaning and objective of planning planning is four third means thinking in advance it is an intellectual process of thinking in adva- advance about setting up goal and developing strategies which are required to attain the goal efficiently in planning we think in advance about a goal and make various strategy to achieve our goal okay planning we think in advance okay we think in advance about our goals and make various strategy to achieve that goal efficiently it is a pre plan planning it is a pre plan we make in advance okay it is pre work then before the activity planning it is a specific result that a persons or systems aim to achieve within a time frame within a available resource means it is a pre work planning it is a pre work and done before the program so that we can achieve our aim or goal within a time frame and within a available resource in planning we make we make a goal and develop strategy and outline the tasks and schedule to accomplish our goal okay first we set a goal and develop different strategy and outline our tasks and schedule so that we can achieve our goal efficiently and effectively within a time frame and within a available resource so it is a pre work means thinking in advance about our goal and making various strategy so that we can achieve our goal within a time frame objective of planning what are the objective of planning the first objective of planning is to achieve the aim of program planning is done considering the aim and objective of program along with time and finance available for the program if we make a planning it's help to achieve our aim because in planning we make our aim we make a goal so planning helps to achieve our aim of the program within a time and finance available to consider the requirement of program planning begins with the requirement of the program based upon number of participant type of activity level of participant etc in planning we consider the various requirement we consider the requirement of the program or the requirement of the tournament like number of participant 
taking part in the tournament, what types of activity we are organizing and the level of participant etc. So according to that we make a planning, we set our goal, we make our program to reduce the chance of mistake. If we make planning in advance then the chance of mistake will be reduced. To bring up coordination, if we make planning, there will be the proper coordinations among various committee. That is, there will be the proper coordinations among the various committee. To organize a tournament, we make various committee like financial committee, organizing committee, technical committee, ground committee, etc. So, if we make a proper planning, there will be the proper coordinations among this committee and it's help to improve the program organization. To use the available resource, planning, make, planning is made by listing down the available resource and resource to be arranged for the program. In planning, we make according to the available resource, what resource we have. According to that, we make a planning and if we does not have that resource, we arrange the resource for the program. To arrange the program, a good planning guide us how to arrange the resource that is which items we should purchase, borrow or hire. In planning, we discuss to make a schedule of the planning. In planning, exact schedule. Is chalk out. Okay, in planning we make the exact schedule. Where we have to organize a tournament, when, how, etc. We make the schedule of the program, keeping in mind the time, duration, venue, weather factor, etc. Give information to concern. Planning needs to give attention related to information to concern one. In planning. We give information to higher authority so that we get approved from that to organize the tournament. To form various committee. In planning, we make various committee. Planning needs to give special care in forming various committee and their items. In planning, we make various committee and give them their duties etc. To direct and guide duties of various committee in planning the direction, the direction, duty and work of various committee are also planned in a systematic way. What which committee, what are the duties of the committee we make in the planning and we give the duties, we give the responsibility to the committee. To provide management and coordination, planning is made regarding proper management and coordination of various committee. To plan during the program work, a good planning is required related to needs during the program. That is how to meet the immediate needs. That is if there is any emergency, then how we can meet that needs to check supervise means uh, supervision of the tournament coordination to make the coordinations between various committee etc to plan after the program in planning we also make planning what we have to do after the program like making report of the program Returning of equipment, things, etc. from which we have borrowed, etc. To consider the boarding and loading needs and special planning is required related to boarding and loadings of the program. Means bringing the uh, sports persons, athletes to the sports competitions and then to return them. These are the objective of planning and importance what are the importance of planning 
the first importance of planning is give direction planning helps to give direction to achieve the desired goal and target theek okay? hai planning in planning we make a goal we make a target so planning it's give direction to achieve the goal how you achieve your goal it give you direction reduce undue pressures planning helps to reduce the pressure of immediacy thus less stress during the competition at the time of competitions there is too much stress too much stress uh, in organizing secretary etc so if we may planning in advance there will be the less pressure during the tournament because everybody know what's their duties therefore they will perform their duties um very perform their duties develop creative idea if we make planning in advance then it helps to develop new and creative idea so that thus promote innovation good controls over activity planning keep control over various activity of tournament if we make planning it's hard to make control over the other activities also increase success good planning ensures success thus failure can be prevent if we make good planning then the chance of success will be more because if we make planning there is a less mistake therefore the chance of success is more if our planning is good increase coordinations planning improve the coordinations among various committee if we make planning there will be the proper coordinations among various committee because they know what their duties is therefore there will be the proper coordination they will perform their duties according to that according to the planning improve resource planning helps to give good use of resource the best and economical result can be gained prevent wastes if may if we make the planning there will be the less wastes less wastes of time money etc because everybody know what are their duties etc so there will be the less wastes of resource also because we know how much money equipment resource we required as well as there will be the less wastes of time increase efficiency planning helps to improve the efficiency thus maximum output can be gained moreover it reduce the stress good schedule if we make planning it's hard to make good schedules of the tournament thus good utilizations of time bit comfortable rest time for the officials if our if in our plan in our planning if we make a good schedule then there will be the proper utilizations of time and the player as well as the official will get the proper uh, time for doing the rest etc so the performance will also improve this are the importance importance of planning okay this is the importance of planning planning means thinking in advance in which we set our goals and we make very strategy to achieve that goal means thinking in advance it is a pre work which we do before the program okay planning means it is a pre work which we do before the program importance of planning it's give the directions reduce pressures develop creative idea good control over the activity 
increase success improve coordination improve resource prevent wastage of time money resource increase efficiency and good schedule if our planning is good then that will be the good schedule next topic is where is committee and their responsibility today sports tournament are participate with great enthusiasm among the last number of team a well organized tournament is one of the best methods for evaluating the skill of a team so good tournament has healthy competitions and to organize it a good planning is also required okay to organize the tournament we need a various committee okay good tournament has a healthy competition and to organize it we need a good planning for smooth conduct of sports tournament it is necessary to form various committee which should perform their duties with full responsibility along with good coordinations among them okay committee means group of people okay committee means group of people so for smooth conduct of the tournament we need committee we need various committee like organizing committee technical committee ground committee sponsors uh, ceremonial committee first aid committee etc for smooth conduct of the program and it is necessary to form various committee and this committee so perform their responsibility perform their duties with full responsibility along with good coordinations among them then only our tournament will be successful if this committee perform their duty with the full responsibility and the duties of this committee have to do lot of work which are categorized as pre tournament work during tournament work and post tournament work that is in planning we uh, we make the duties we set a duties of the committee what are their duties before the tournament their duties before the tournament during the tournament and after the tournament the responsibility of committee let discuss first uh, chairperson or chief patron or tournament directors usually head of the institutions this chairperson it is also known as sponsor okay chairperson it is the sponsor of the tournament it is the head of the tournament it is a sponsor of the tournament what the uh, his responsibility before the tournament during the tournament and after the tournament his duties before the tournament is to plan the success of the tournament this chair chairperson's plan for the success of tournament arrange the finance for the tournament finance fund etc the chairperson provide the finance to organize the tournament during the tournament chairperson look after overall arrangement welcoming the distinguished guests checking for the smooth conduct of the tournament to monitors the smooth conduct of the tournament and after the tournament his duties is to summarize the success of the tournament and value of the success and value of the tournament this is the responsibility of chairperson means sponsor of the tournament he plan for the success of tournament and also arrange finance and fund for the tournament he look for all look uh, look after the overall arrangement of the tournament chief technical advisor chief technical advisor 
it is a chief well qualified okay chief technical advisor it is a well qualified experienced and expert from the related game for example if you want to organize the football then the chief technical advisor should have should be well qualified he should have um experience and expert of that game etc his duty before the tournament is to check the technical aspect of the tournament like play field he check for the play field and its marking he said that playground is uh, according to the rules of the game or not and its marking is right or wrong he also check the equipment for the tournament help in making the fixture this chief technical advisor helps to making the fixture so that the team fight compete according to that fixtures this check technical advisor also guide others officials like timekeepers umpire referee etc his duties during the tournament is to supervise various committee okay chief technical advisor supervise the various committee check the progress of the tournament as per the rules of the game to handle the technical dispute in the tournament if there is any technical dispute this chief technical advisor handle he sort out the dispute monitors the smooth it helps for the smooth conduct of the tournament and also deal with the protests or objections if any player team is unsatisfied with the result then this chief technical advisor deal with the protests and objections made by the player or team post work his duties after the tournament is to make the report of the tournament to inform the success of the tournament to the concern like game federations association okay he inform the success of tournament to the game federation or association organizing secretary organizing secretary usually the physical education teachers who organize the tournament this organizing secretary is the main person who organize the tournament his duties before the tournament is to do all the planning for the tournament he make the planning for the tournament get approved from the higher authority to organize a tournament to make arrangement of equipment score sheet official table equipment certificate to consider the available resource list of possible a uh, list of possible equipment and its ability to make fixture to discuss the budget and approximate expense in the tournament a form of various committee he make a various committee and its staff drafting general rules and regulation for the tournament and drafting eligibility pro forma and con, uh, consent letters to various institutions for participant this organizing secretary is the main who organize the tournament his pre work is planning for the tournament he make the planning get approved from the higher authority and make all the arrangement to conduct the tournament like arranging the equipment score sheet official table equipment certificate etc during the tournament his work is to coordinate with different committee for smooth conduct of the tournament he make the coordinations with different committee check or pro forma of the player their age to handle immediate problem if there is any problems he handles the problems to deal with protest this organizing secretary also deal with the protest and objection made by the player etc 
and after the tournament his work is to give the vote of thanks to the concerns to make the final report of the tournament make the budget report expense details so that he can give it to the higher authority etc next is ground arrangement committee ground arrangement committee his work is to do all the ground arrangement as per the rules of the game he make the uh, he make the ground as per the rules and regulation of the game arrangement of the ceremonial functions like opening and closing ceremony and during the tournament his work is to provide the equipment for the match okay he provide the equipment for the match manage others need full facility in the near the play field if there is if there is any requirement of the equipment facility etc he provide after the tournament his work is to collect the equipment and returns the borrow equipment from where he had borrow the equipment return it return back it return back the equipment technical committee his uh, duty before the tournament is to do technical committee means officials expert for conducting the game coach umpire etc his work before the tournament is to do all arrangement over the play field as technical requirement uh, whatever the technical requirement we require for organ organizing the tournament like score sheet official table equipment etc this technical committee make the arrangement during the tournament his duty is to conduct the tournament to manage and conduct the game as per the schedule perform the duty as referee umpire duty during the game to handle the official duty to manage the timekeepers to fill the score sheet to check the scoreboard etc these are the duties of the technical committee next is discipline committee discipline committee it check the discipline his work before the tournament is to check the crucial and dangerous point he check he find out that if there is any dangerous a uh, point or not and make the arrangement if there is any dangerous he make the arrangement to consider the players and spectators safety during the tournament his work is um to make overall discipline in the tournament he make the discipline in the tournament check and control violence if there is any violence he check and control the violence ensure that there is no hindrance during the progress of the match monitors of spectators means monitors of audience etc and after the tournament his work is to provide safe exit of the player and spectators okay safe exit of the player and uh, audience from the playground or from the uh stadium reception committee reception committee his pre work before the tournament is to arrange all the required details and equipment to get the schedule fixture to be aware by all boarding and loadings to check the team details in advance which team is coming in what time etc to inquire about their boarding and loading arrangement transportation requirement plan according to that etc and during the tournament their duties is 
first uh, first interaction of team is done by the reception committee where they are informed about the tournament schedule okay this reception committee inform them about the schedule of the tournament he make the safety arrangement so safety arrangement for their stay provide important information reception committee provide information uh, important information to the team eligible performer of the team collections and check to collect the payment of the match meal secretary amount etc and after the tournament his duty is to check and refund the secretary amount to the team to hand over the certificate to the department game etc department team next is finance committee finance committee is pre work is to get detail of approximate expense under various uh headlines means he make the approximate expense of the tournament get approved from the higher authority means get approved and sanction from the higher authority and also plan for raising the fund and during the tournament his duty is to provide the fund for various activity and committee he provide various fund to for various activity and to the various committee to collect the fund for the meals from the team and after the tournament his work is to prepare the exact financial report exact financial report how much money is expense in the tournament he make the exact financial report of the tournament this is the duty of the financial committee